Hey guys, I'm Chess Prime. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I decided I wanted to go and dive into the new world that came with growing together for The Sims 4, San Sequoia. As you can probably tell by the name San Sequoia and the bridge, this is a world based off of San Francisco. So hopefully this is good because The Sims home like team is in San Francisco. So I think this should be a pretty good uh, world. But what we're going to do is I'm going to read you the description of the, the whole world. And then we're going to go neighborhood by neighborhood, which there are three neighborhoods. There's like a more industrial neighborhood. So there's more of a family friendly neighborhood. And then there's like a neighborhood that's all like residential. And uh, we'll explore one by one, both on the map and in game. So that's what we're going to do. Um, the builders for this world, I know Lil Simzy and Deliracy were both builders. There's another builder. I think her name starts with a D. I don't remember. I don't, I'm not very familiar with this creator. But she also, or she, they, I know it's not, it's either she or they, I'm not sure. Whatever. But they, um, they built for three lots for this world as well. Each one got to build three lots. I know Deliracy built the start, or not Del I know Lil Simzy built the starter home and the recreational center. And then she had another home that was like for a fashion designer or something. So it's more of a dark home. So it's either this one or this one. I'm thinking it's this one, but I'm not 100% sure. I know Deliracy built the library and whichever one possibly the rental I'm not exactly sure and then whichever one of these that little Sims didn't build the lawyer seat built the other one and then and that I know the other person I don't know did this one and this one I'm not sure which lot was their third I guess it would have to be this one that's my guess um but Moving on, anyways, I just wanted to give credit where credit was due because I do love the fact that uh, the Sims team brings in actual Simmers to build lots for the game. And he has were really cool, and the lots have definitely improved since they started doing that. So <laughs> I'm quite happy about that. But let's go ahead and read the description. So the world description says San Sequoia began as a small fishing town, then became a Hub of the fishing and canning industry doing due to the influence of local fishermen turned entrepreneur by by any is that how you say that by any Robles the Robles family is so very much intrigued in the area even as it has explored over time thanks to Gilbert Gilberts. Today since Sequoia it's the home of a cozy streets, a beautiful park with gardens, and quiet, quiet suburban neighborhoods. It is the perfect place to raise a family. Which is great because that's what the whole pack is about. So I think we're going to do industrial, family friendly, and then suburban neighborhood. So, this industrial part is called... How do you even say that? An... An... Archer, Archer Point Wharf, Anchor Anchor Point Wharf. Wharf. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got, it, I got it now. Okay, Anchor Point, uh, Anchor Point Wharf, once the center of a busting fishing and candy industry. Arch. Anchor Point Wharf is known as now as a vibrant area downtown featuring a movie theater, parklets, and more. It's planning to keep all ages entertained. So this is the movie theater right here. It's just a rabbit hole. It's not an actual lot, but we will go explore that real quick. Um, we have the rental home right here. We have the library. There's a blank 30 by 20 lot. And then we have the Robles home. Which is a 40 by 50 lot. 
So that's quite nice. Um, so let's go explore this neighborhood. All right, so we are starting off this tour with the movie theater. I want to show it off because we don't have a lot of rabbit holes in The Sims 4. We had a lot of rabbit holes in The Sims 3, including a uh, movie theater that looked almost exactly like this. Just this is like the more uh, up-to-date version. <laughs> But basically, all you do is click it and click watch movie. We have a bunch of different types of movies, which depending on what your sim likes, they might like like or dislike these movies. I'm thinking she's probably going to go watch Of Tea and Tetri. So we're just going to quickly have her go in there. She's not wearing any shoes, but it's fine. <laughs> she just disappears in there and then... Uh, as she's watching the movie, things will pop up in the windows, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, here we go. See right here. I thought these were supposed to lie up too, though. Maybe it's just certain ones. But I'm just going to fast forward while she watches the movie. We had that pop up. But, oh, uh, there's some hearts. Love that. Oh, broken heart. Jeez, okay. But this is taking a while, but you get the point. It is kind of like, is a kind of entertaining. And of course, you can leave whenever you want if it's taking too long. Like, I think it's taking too long right now. So, and like I said, you looked at the prices. It's actually pretty um, cheap. It's only $15 per movie. I don't know how much it is if it's more than one sim, though. I don't know if it's like 15 per sim or if you get like a group interaction where you can watch movie together. I don't know. But... There's that. So this is the world that we will be exploring. I want to go in detail and explore these. So let's see where is she again. Okay. So we have the movie theater. Let's go over here. So it looks like we have a little seating area with some fairy lights here. Love when they use the fairy lights. We have some background buildings go this way it curves around this way and look at that ocean and that bridge with the fishing docks you can't actually walk out here but i think it's really pretty i love how you when you put it up here it actually blurs out as you're not supposed to be able to walk over here but you know i think it's pretty so ooh, i like this this walkway the curvy net the curvy road in the middle of the road. So that's pretty cool. I think this is the rental house, I'm pretty sure. So this is what that looks like. Um then we go this way. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it up with where I'm at. Oh, oh, the walls aren't up for the library because that's the the light I came to visit. Whoops. I'm not going to go inside any of the buildings. We're just going to look at the outside. Because it's the world tour. Not exactly building tour. But these are. These are just some building. Background buildings. So this is the library that Deligacy built. Um. I love the roofing. The metal roofing with the glass in it. I don't know. This is just totally a like. Classic Deligacy build. Honestly, look at that fountain. That's a neat fountain. Okay. Let's see. Looks like you can come over here. And there's... Oh, yeah, it's that walkway. Okay. So, it, it meets up right there. And you have... It looks like this would be, like, um, a subway entrance. Interesting. Let's see. I th these buildings. I know they're not functional by like oh, look. You can go up the hill on Whoa, this is cool. Wait, this is cool. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in the city. Yeah, I am in the city, but whoa Of course your Sims can't walk up here, but the fact that they took the time to make this Okay, I don't like going fast on this. It's making me a little nauseous. 
And you can go up here. Can you actually go on the bridge? Oh, no. It cuts off. It cuts off. Let's see. I don't think it's going to go any further, is it? Possibly? Oh, wait. It is. Okay. You can actually go up on the bridge in shift mode. And by the way, if you're wondering how I'm doing this, I'm literally doing tabs and then shift to make myself go faster. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I went too far. I went too far. I went too far. I broke it. I'm supposed to be over here. Okay, but the bridge, that's where it kind of ends right here. It just goes into the blue screen from there. Oh, but it's so cool you can explore it like that. Here's that dock we were looking at earlier. Did I, did I cover all the buildings? Let's see. I think this is a blank lot? Question mark. Pretty sure. Um, here's the house we didn't see. So this is one of the houses that were built for this area. Very interesting. It looks like a couple of different houses put together, but that's just my opinion. Did think we saw this because I got distracted. Yeah, I think I saw the main of everything. Just gonna zoom out and look around like this to see if there's anything I missed. Well, I didn't see this food stall or any of these buildings. Well, I saw these buildings. I didn't see this food stall. What kind of food stall is this? See, we more food. Toki says, it's a bunch of different types of food put together. Like you got some Asian food. You got some, like, seafood. Yeah, okay. So it's kind of just like a mix. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Um, I guess I didn't go all the way down this bridge. Because there's also a little statue thing right here. A little anchor. I guess that makes sense because of what it's called. But yeah, I think I got most of the world that you can access and the parts you can't access, like the bridge. So let's go ahead and go back to the map and look at the more family-friendly uh, place I was looking at. Alright, so the next neighborhood is probably the one I'm most excited for, and that is Gilbert Gardens. Gilbert Gardens Gorgeous Park was once owned by... Gilbert Gilberts, a land developer who helped establish the area. Now that's the perfect locate for the family trips to the gardens, where, amongst other activities, Sims can walk on one of the scenic lake walk paths or visit the community splash pad play area. Wilbert is hoping to see you soon. So this is Hilary. It has a blank lot right here. Um, and then it has a house here, a house here that's already being lived in by the Robles Renew. Wait, hold on, is there? Okay, so this is the Robles. I guess this must be their kid that moved out or something because they have, it's like Robles slash Renew, so it's like they're married in or something. Interesting, interesting. Probably could go into the description and figure that out. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not exploring the world that I am going into the lore of the Sims that live here. So we are going to go visit them and see the world in detail. Alright, so I traveled to the blank lot onto the world Look at the little parking lot over there with the cars. Oh my god, that's adorable. This is the blank lot. It has the bridge right behind it. Um, we're just going to go exploring. So I think first we'll go over this way. This is kind of the edge of the world. Why is this going so slow? I'm pressing shift. Okay, whatever. Maybe we'll go faster this way. Okay, well, yep, here we go. Okay, so... We are going into the world. This is the splash pad area that everyone's been so talking about uh, that was coming to the world. We have a little bathroom right there. We have like all the little fountains shooting up out of the splash pads. And of course we have Whalebert, which uh, is, is a good represent representation of the whole world right here. I think this is the most wanted piece of 
fan. We have the water out here, which you can actually swim in. So this is a new swimming spot. It has a little house on the water. I don't think it's functional, but it's super cute. Um, here's the bridge that you see people walking across. So you have the little bridge there and another body of water here. Oh, look at this uh, fountain. That's interesting. Let's see. Well, let's see. We were over here. So, I think these are, uh, this is the rec center, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is the rec center that little Simsy built. I'm going to just take a sneak peek inside. Oh, didn't. there we go. That's all you get. That's all you get. <laughs> um, this is another building that kind of matches that. We have a lot of that vibe over here. Oh, look, we have, like, apartment buildings with, like, fire escapes. I love that. Okay. Not functional apartments, but still cute. Um, if we go through these trees and go over here, we have, like, this little gardens area that's real cute with some fountains and, like, a little building. Oh, this little arch right here. Hold on. So Oh, that's pretty with the ivy on it. Imagine getting engaged right here or taking family photos right here. That would be so pretty. Oh my goodness, I love this. Oh, we have a little se seagull bush. That's cute. That's super cute. Let's see, I I'm lost where I'm at, but we'll go this way and hope for the pets. Alright, so we have this little walkway out here. Okay, this is where we were just at. Okay. Okay. Oh, here's the par another part of the park. We just have a little bit of a picnic bench, a flag. Okay, so let's go this way. We've already been this way. So this way. Did I look at the whole world already? There's no way. There's no way. Well, the whole part of the world. There's this house, which is was I'm pretty sure either a little Simsy or uh the legacy. Not sure though. Let's see. We have this this fountain. Let's go over here. So here's a little house. I don't know if that's functional or just a shell, but all of these are shells. I'm pretty sure. We have a lot of blue suburbans right here. A lot of blue suburbans right here. Jeez, I think they're repeating some of the houses, but whatever. <laughs> oh, there's like paths that go into the woods out here. What is this? All right, we have paths. We're coming up on some houses. Where am I? Is the question. <laughs> I'm, like, way out here in the middle of the whole world. Okay. I was about to be like, I don't recognize this. Alright, um. And this is, like, the edge of the world. That's why the the graphics are so weird. I look, you, know, you look at the trees, but nope. It's just a 1D image or 2D image, whatever you want to call it. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I went way off. But let's see if I covered everything. So... Let's see, where is my thumb? Okay, so we covered the slash pad all around this water. Oh, I didn't see this. Uh, okay, I saw this. I just didn't see this one particular circle. And look at the glass over the little oh, picnic tables. That's so cute. Okay, that's cute. Let's see. I think I got everything, though. What, what's this building? I can't actually click here, but I like this building. It's a shell, but I like it. But, yeah. So, let's see. Oh, did I show off this house? No, and this is an actual clickable house. Okay. Hello. So, this is this house. I'm assuming that's by the person. I can't remember how to pronounce their name or their username. And I didn't see this either. This is a nice neutral. 
Oh, I did see this. Okay, it's just from a different angle. I was like, oh, I've never seen this. I've seen it. I've seen it. Let's see. I think, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it this time. <laughs> I'm pretty positive. Yeah, it's, that's not clickable. So that is the whole Gilbert's Gardens area. Let's go explore the very last neighborhood. All right, so the last neighborhood we have to explore is Hopewell Hills. Hopewell Hills is a cozy spot away from the hustle and bustle of the town. The perfect place for anyone who wants a well space. If the suburbs are your idea of paradise, you found it here in this quiet little neighborhood. So this neighborhood only has four lots, but it's probably the biggest when it comes to the walk around space. So we have this big lot, which is the Michelson's family, and you have a tiny blank lot right next to it, and then you have a lived-in home here, and then you have the little starter, blue suburban little Simsy starter home. That's our home that has officially put a blue suburban into the game. <laughs> and there's a couple more blue suburbans around here, but it's a little Simsy, so, you know, it's you get it, right? If you watch her, you get it. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and jump in and explore. All right, so I'm on the blank lot in the world. So let's go exploring. So let's see, which way should we go? I'm going to go this way towards the docks because I really want to see the big docks over here. I think you can actually walk out on these docks, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm really excited about them. So there's this little building here. I don't think you can go inside the building. But these are the docks. It has little tables and some boats. Oh my goodness, this is cute. I thought there's like so many different areas you can walk down. And all the rocks surrounding it making it look super realistic. I love that. So there's the docks. And we go this way. We have a, a blue suburban, another blue suburban. It's a bunch of suburban houses, like, really. Even though there's only four lots, there's so many houses. Like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is uh, the starter home delivery. Uh, little, I keep getting them mixed up. Lil Simsy made to put a blue suburban in the house. So there's that, and if you go this way, there's a little park area back here, which I think is so cute. It has a little pirate ship and uh, monkey bars. We have the statue of a fisherman. Oh, and here's the bridge over the gorgeous water. So we have this half of the water and this half of the water. With houses all around them. Let's see. Let's see. That just takes you back to the road, right? I'm pretty sure that just takes you back to the road. You go this way, you can see the water with the bridge in the background. We have more blue suburbs over here. But look at this little deck you can come fish at. How cute is that? There's a bench to sleep on if you're homeless. Oh, and here... Is an important part of the world. They show it off on the live stream. And that is the last Sequoia uh, stop. Because this world apparently used to be filled with Sequoias. Which is why it's called Santa Sequoia. But um, they all got ripped down. And this is the last that is left of it. It has a little branch growing out the top of it. So, you know, maybe there's hope. But probably not. <laughs> Um, but here is a, how a, another blue suburban house. Sorry, it's floored over there. Come on. It has to go faster than this. Come on. Um, I think all of these are just like blank houses. The area does kind of go in the circle, so I feel like if, if I keep going, I'll eventually get to where I'm looking for. Let's, let's just tab out a minute. Where am I? I'm on the edge of the world. 
So, back where the parts are, I went down this way, and we crossed through here. So, we haven't explored over here. So, they here are a bunch of little townhouses. Um, more townhouses. This is just, like, so many houses you cannot play with. It's ridiculous. But these people seem to have their own little personal dock, which I love. And look at the water view. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. Oh, we have a lighthouse! We have a lighthouse. I gotta take a picture. On, oh, yeah, let's get a picture of the lighthouse with the bridge in the background. How cute is that? I think that's real cute. Okay. So, we have that. Um, this is the big house of the lot of the world. So it's another blue suburban, but it's not by the Little Simsy. And we have all this out here. We have the tree house. This is a tree house that you can build yourself. We have they have their own little splash pad, a nice little seating area. How cute is this? Love this. Um. Let's see, is there anything else I missed? I, I swore the streets first. So. Let's see, I swore that. I think that, that's it for the world. I'm just doing a final s scan through to make sure I didn't miss it. I missed the, these. I like how they have little driveways, even though they don't have cars. And, like, they have the fake garages. Is that a debug item? Because I don't remember seeing that. I do not remember seeing that. I haven't seen anyone build with it. So I'm wondering if it's a debug item. Probably is. And then there's a couple of houses with some driveways and some fake cars here as well. But that is pretty much it, you guys, for the world. It's not as big as the world that other expansion packs have come with. But it's still a pretty decent size. Like, there's at least four lots per neighborhood, and there's three neighborhoods. So, but anyway, guys, I think I'm going to call this one right here. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that awesome stuff, because you guys are awesome people. I'll see you next time. All right, bye.